I am at the uh, exhibit of uh, Dagan Halal from Malaysia. Um, you ha they have their booth here. Uh, a very beautifully decorated this uh, uh, this booth stand here. Now I would like and here uh, with me uh, Hafiz. He is the uh, a CSO, CCO, CCO of uh, Dagan Halal with me, and it's our opportunity to speak to him. First of all, uh, Mr. Hafiz, I would like to ask you uh, tell our viewers more about Dagan Halal itself. Okay, basically, Dagan Halal actually we started as an IT company. Right. Okay, information technology where we develop a lot of uh, system software as integration. But to us, uh, in 2004, we have started. To focus on our strength into halal industry, we where we develop a lot of system and platform for the usage of the halal industry as a whole, not only for Malaysia but actually for global. Yes, we based in Malaysia. We just got listed from London uh, last year, nice. Alhamdulillah. And then uh, from that we know that the halal industry itself has been recognized worldwide, and some more for countries like Australia and also UK they are well accepting uh, halal now nowadays yeah. so that was my question as well that i believe you are first time in australia in in any exhibition yeah. so uh, what are the main uh, goals and uh, you are aiming to participate mm -hmm. you know in respect to the services of the dagan halal in this uh, expo okay based on our statistic in malaysia way back in 2014 australia is our 11 uh, highest trading countries with malaysia especially on the meat and meat based and uh, dairy products but uh, we have predicted i mean our malaysian government have predicted that sooner or later australia could be the top five in terms of our trading partner for Malaysia. So that's why we are focusing into this regional, not only Australia but also for New Zealand as well. And yet we have been long time try to look for any platform that we can uh, participate and promote uh, in terms of Hala from Malaysia. So after we met you guys, Hala Expo, then uh, we think this should be our stepping stone towards that the, the intention and the objective. All right. Yeah. You have uh, um, participated, I think you're about to start um, in the conference and you are uh, having a workshop there yeah. as well. Mm. Uh, tell us something about that workshop. Okay, basically, uh, personally, I would urge, I mean, Muslim and non-Muslim people in Australia, they should come and spare their time to visit the conference and workshop. Yeah. Okay, that's because the way they look from the setup of the workshop itself, there are a lot of uh, very prominent speakers, all worldwide speakers. Yeah, I'm not talking about just for the Australian speakers. Mm -hmm. Is coming here to share their knowledge and experience. So I think the Australian people should take uh, some uh, knowledge from this uh, conference. All right, actually, all right. and how do you see in your experience? You go in other countries as well, and this uh, type of format and facility is a first. Uh, it's kind of event in Australia. Mm -hmm. How do you see in your experience the future of Halal Expo Australia in Australia? Well, to be honest, there's a lot of uh, things that we can uh, improve on these matters. But of course, this is a good start. I mean, uh, I was informed by the people here that this is something has been uh, value added on since uh, previous years. I think it's a good start. We are very supporting, uh, so, uh, I think we will support uh, these matters uh, strongly from our side. Uh, of course, there's a lot of improvement, yes, to, be, of to, be, to be fair. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you want me to share the knowledge, what, uh, what we have been through all these years with the other things, I think uh, the conference itself is, uh, should be uh, the topic and the speakers should be must be very well known and a lot of promotion about the speakers. I mean, uh, the topic cover it should be reflected both uh, the Muslim and non-Muslim as well. Okay, and then of course the in terms of uh, I got so not so much complaint in terms of uh, booths and also the setup and everything because uh, 
this Rosier Garden, this is the best that we can offer so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully and, in the future. And you know, Australia is uh, a very emerging uh, Australian um, Islamic community. Yes, correct. So we are in the process of building um, the community in various respects. And we started now the Halal Expo. Is. Yeah. Uh, generally, how do you see uh, Muslims in Australia? Well, uh, based on the statistic from one of the speakers just now this morning, I saw that in 2011 the Muslim in Australia is is around half million, yeah. and I believe by this year it should be one million already or one million plus. So it's a big opportunity actually, and one most important thing about the Muslim, wherever they come from, they have to be united, uh -huh. and they have to support each other. Okay, that will make the strong foundation for the Muslim community in Australia. Thank you very much and thank you for having here. We know that you are new and because you have attended a very very, very well settled and big exhibitions in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Singapore, but this is a beginning. So maybe you find many things which have you in mind, but uh, we we will love to share. Yes, we will love to share with you. Inshallah, we will love to share with you, and we will support you in every angle that we can in the future. Inshallah. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.